I've had so much coffee today. All I'm allowed to drink is water right now. That's it. Before we get started, I just wanted to let everybody know that's watching this right now that you are enough just as you are right now. My ear itches, sorry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have no makeup on except for only my brows that I've had on since six o'clock this morning. I'm going to be trying out expensive designer makeup. I've never done a video like this and it's stuff that I already have. A few things that I didn't have so I went out and actually purchased them. Hopefully it's worth the money. I'm trying it so you don't have to and I'm just telling you what you need and what you can pass on. Also, I have a Dom Fan Mystery Box for you guys to win. If you want to enter to win whatever is in this Dom Fan Mystery Box, then don't forget to put your IG handle in the comments and hashtag Dom Fam for a chance to win. If you want to see how this look turned out, how I feel about everything, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam and without further ado let's get into this luxury makeup everything smells so expensive right now it's very perfumey very luxury I feel expensive a lot of the stuff was in PR already but I bought a few things and I was like Ooh, this is but first I have to prime my face actually I'm gonna move you guys in closer to my face because I feel like we're kind of far away right now Okay, that's good. As long as you guys can see a good clear shot of my head, we're good because I want you to really get the feel of these products and if they're worth it because they are expensive. Everything that I'm wearing today is probably gonna be over $50. That's crazy. So the first thing that we're starting off with is this Gucci Silk Priming Serum. I got this in PR and I was like, wow. I'm so excited to try this. This is supposed to hydrate your skin and let your foundation apply very evenly. This smells like a perfume. Very florally expensive older lady and I'm not mad at it. If you do not like scent, this is not for you. But if you love that luxury expensive scent, you don't even have to wear perfume. Don't even worry about it because this is your perfume. It's kind of burning on my chin a little bit just because I think that I had a breakout. This primer is $57. Okay, so we love that. I'm gonna double prime. I'm gonna use the blur primer from YSL because I want to blur out my T-zone a little bit. I have large pores in this area and so I just wanna make sure that they are not visible. And this primer does a really good job at that. So I'm just gonna go in the T-zone area. Just looking at this bottle makes me feel like luxury, you know? I love it. Okay, so that was $52. I'm going to prep my lips with the Dior Lip Glow. It's called 005 Lilac. And we're gonna just hydrate our lips. I've already put on like over $100 on my face. We're just prepping the skin. That is so crazy to me. My skin feels super velvety smooth. After like the Gucci primer really set in, I feel like my skin is just like satin. Does that make sense? Like super smooth, like velvet. It's so beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into the new Gucci foundation. I just wanna put this on my bathroom counter. It's so pretty. So I'm gonna take the shade 240W and see how that works out for me. I like the cap. I like that it's gold against the nude. Set that color in. Again, smells like expensive flowers. Coverage seems to be like medium, maybe buildable to full coverage. Okay, so I just wanted to stop in the middle of putting on my foundation because I wanted to show you guys what the difference from my natural skin to the coverage on this foundation. It does definitely give you like a nice even coverage. I'm feeling a little yellow right now, but I definitely want to try this a little bit more than just this one time. So let me just finish this side. Now that the foundation's dried down a bit, I feel like it gives you this very powdery, soft focus kind of finish, which I really like the feeling. It feels like I'm wearing absolutely nothing on my face. Yeah. The contour that I have is this one from YSL. This one I like to contour because it's super, super natural. It has like that natural shadow effect that you want from a contour. There's no red or orange in it, so I really like this one. This is actually a foundation, but I like to use it as contour. I don't know, when I think of all this designer makeup, I think of what I want to be like when I'm a grandma. <laughs> like super luxe and smells like roses and has a little Chanel bag and pearls. That's my goals for myself whenever I get older and retire. So I'm gonna take it here. It's the first time I'm trying a Chanel concealer. I love everything from Chanel, by the way. They can do no wrong. 
Chanel is Chanel. But this is the first time that I'm ever trying a Chanel makeup product, so I'm kind of extremely excited. Ooh, this is very red. But we are bronzing, so this goes on like I like not even like butter because it's so much lighter than butter. It goes on like a little angel finger just pressing it into my skin. It's so light, soft, and just glides on. Amazing. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit and marinate. I'm gonna start to work it in and we're gonna see how it actually performs. Ooh, do you see how that just like blended in like flawlessly? But I've actually never tried a concealer that has felt this amazing. And look how it's blending out. Like I don't even have to try. It's just, wow. I can't wait to try the actual concealer under my eyes. I really don't wanna fall in love with a Chanel concealer because <laughs> That's expensive. That's too much. <laughs> Caesar. I'm falling in love with Chanel concealer. Oh my God, this is so nice. Their shade range is terrible. Um, I looked at their shade range for the concealer and it was like, it, this is the darkest that they have. But I'm gonna try 20 beige for my under eyes. So let's try this out. Wow, it's so silky. It's like melting my heart. My heart is melting at this moment with this texture. I'll let that sit on my face for a second and I'm gonna get into these brows. So I have this Dior brow pencil and I actually really like this. It's a retractable pencil. I've had this for a while, but this is in the shade 001 Brown. It's so precise. I just love how easy this pencil is to use. It has like nice coverage and it has a spoolie there, which a lot of pencils do. But I think it's like $29, so it's not like insane because the Benefit one is $24, and it's actually a really, really nice pencil. This brow pencil is so, so good. I don't know why, I just gravitate towards my Benefit, my Urban Decay one, so I don't know, but this is a good one. And then I'm going to fill in the brow area with the Pumpin' Brow from Dior, and this has like little microfibers in it. This is 021, this is $29 as well. So I'm just gonna go through everything, which is not too bad too crazy. So now that our brows are all filled in, I'm gonna blend in this gorgeous concealer. I hope it gives me the coverage that I want. So here we go. It's like if heaven made a concealer, this would be it. It's so heavenly and and soft and ugh, it's just so good. This is gonna have to be my new concealer because it is absolutely beautiful. Like if you want to splurge, and you're a concealer girl like me, splurge, splurge on your birthday, splurge whenever you can because this is so good. And it makes your skin look so smooth. I'm gonna set my under eyes with the Marc Jacobs Finish Line Invisible Translucent Powder. I'm not a fan of the mesh netting inside ever. I don't know why. I just want it to all come out at once. Not that I like it to be super messy, but I don't mind it. You know, like I wanna actually have product there. So these always kind of bug me, but it does prevent you from overdoing it, which is a good thing. But sometimes I just feel like, let me overdo it. Let me make my mistakes. I don't like to set everything. I'm just gonna set the center because she's greasy in that area. And I just want my concealer to be nice and set. Ooh, yes. Oh my God. Everything is just blending together so nicely. And it's so, like, so expensive right now. I don't know where I'm at with the price, but I'll put it right here. I'm gonna let the rest of my face kind of set in place. While that's happening, I'm going to do my eyes. I'm so excited because I got this really expensive eyeshadow palette from Tom Ford. It was $88 and I was like, there's only four shadows and it's $88 where I can get a Natasha Denona palette and she has more shadows. I don't know, whatever. I just felt like it was a lot. <laughs> so I have two Natasha Denona palettes here that are 129 each. These guys come with the palette, but I'm not like a super fan of these. It looks like this one you can use for liner too because the way it's shaped. So I appreciate that. I appreciate the different shapes. I think I'm gonna do like a peachy purpley something. I think I'll do purple in the inner corners. I've been really loving lilac lately. I have a lilac shirt on right now. I think it's perfect for springtime. So I'll probably do something like that. I'm gonna go into this gold palette right here. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, right in there. And I'm just gonna lay it down in the crease really quick. So we have like a nice little gradient backdrop going on. And I don't know if you guys know this, but Natasha Denona's eyeshadow palettes are my absolute favorite. Number one favorite eyeshadow palette. So these are so worth it. They're $129 each. I'm so happy to finally get PR from Natasha. But when I first heard about the brand, I 
didn't and I bought the palettes myself and I fell in love. So they're definitely worth the purchase because the quality of shadows are superior. They're like, unlike any other shadows that I've tried other than mine, <laughs> but I really, really like Natasha Denona's formula, it's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna take that on the lower lash line too. Now I'm gonna go into the Tom Ford palette. I'm gonna take that pretty orange or like that peachy color. The shadow is not bad. It's a little, it's not as like creamy and soft as the Natasha Denona ones, but it's actually performing pretty well and doesn't have fallout. It's a little dry, but it works really nicely. I'm gonna align the lower part of my lash. I'm gonna put on this really pretty bronzy golden color. Is it performing like an $88 palette? No, no, <laughs> not at all. I think that you can definitely work with what you have in your assortment of shadows. I think you're just basically paying for the name. I am so excited to have this palette because I've never had anything from Tom Ford. I'm gonna do the, the darkest shade on my crease and see how that looks. Now this one is a little more shimmery and I already have a lot of different shimmers going on. So <laughs> I don't know how amazing that's gonna look, but. This brown has very light pigment. Some people do like a lighter application though because it gives them room to build. But this one is is really, really light. So not like a crazy fan of it. I think I'm gonna pick up some more Natasha Denona just to like amplify the outer crease. So I have this shade right here from Marc Jacobs. It's called Affair. And it's just like a really pretty light purple. I'm gonna show you guys a swatch of it. Oh, it's actually like a gray tone color. I'm gonna put that on my lower lash line. This is a Gucci mascara that came in PR as well. And it's extremely heavy. It feels like gold is in my hand. It's so heavy. And I think this is $50, okay, 35. It works really well. I've been using it actually. I like the molded brushes for the lower lashes because the lashes are so tiny there. I'm gonna line my lash line. I'm gonna use the Givenchy Black Hole Magic Liner. Now I'm gonna go into this really expensive bronzer that I have from Tom Ford and I heard a lot of amazing things about it. It is $70 and it's like, look at that, that's so tiny. We're gonna do it because we are fancy today. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and apply it all over my face and it's going to hopefully give me this glowing goddess look. So I'm gonna take that and, are you serious? This is actually so beautiful. As soon as I put it on my face, it was like airbrushed. So the blush I have is this one from Dior. It's the shade Poison Matte in 962. So I'm gonna try this guy on. This was $44 and the bronzer, $70. That's expensive. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. There's not too much of a wow factor for me but it is really pretty. I'm gonna go into highlight. I'm not into powder highlights. I really am not into them for my skin, but I'm gonna use this one because we are going for the glow. I'm gonna go into the peach and the champagne one. Work that on the high points of my face. And then after that, that, that was nice. So I have this Dior lip in nude look. Okay, this one is the exact same color as my lip, right? It's like the exact. It glides on the lips really nice too. And it feels like I put on a lip balm, which is a plus. It has a little lip brush at the end. Ooh, this is really hard. You probably have to break it up really quick. Okay, there you go. Now it's normal lip brush. I like that it has a lip brush on it and I like the color of it. At first I was like, this is like nothing, but I see the color now that I put it on all over my lips and I really like it. I have this liquid lip from YSL and this is the shade 23. I have this one from YSL as well. Oh my God, I wanna eat this. It smells so good. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. I wanna do a little bit more brightening in the inner corner of my eyes. So I'm gonna take this Marc Jacobs press powder and I'm gonna take it with this beauty sponge right here and I just wanna make sure that this area is super bright. Now I'm just gonna set everything in place so I don't want this to move. I wanna look good for Caesar when I get home. I have this Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. It's not like a designer, but Hourglass is pretty pricey. Mmm. This feels really good. The entire bottle is now on my face. 
I love how flawless my skin looks. My eyeshadow looks good. The lips look good. The eyebrows are coming off, but that's okay. We can just add some in. Okay, I just drew some more eyebrows in there because they somehow magically disappeared. If you haven't checked out these two videos right here, make sure to check them out. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I do videos every single week and you can be a part of the fam. Thank you guys for watching and that's it. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.